Welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith from eMotors Direct. Today, we'll cover how to test your single phase motor windings and insulation. If you suspect your single phase motor is starting to fail, the windings may have broken, leading to an open circuit or the insulation could have failed. It could also be a capacitor failure or an overload, but check out our other videos for more specifics on that. Before we dive in, I'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. Then you'll be notified when we post our next video and we have some awesome topics coming later this year. Today, I'm working with a Marathon Motor. This is one of our most popular motor brands. They have an extensive range of motors and keep excellent stock levels in their Canadian warehouses, making them a great replacement motor if timeline is a factor. Motor windings and insulation are susceptible to gradual wear and tear over time. So, if your motor is starting to fail, this is a great area to troubleshoot. Single phase motor windings can be easily tested if you have a multimeter and a manufacturer manual. Testing three phase motor windings is typically done by a professional as the equipment required to get an accurate reading is quite expensive. This tutorial is specific to single phase motors. So how do you test motor windings and insulation? Here's my eight step guide. Disconnect the motor's power supply. Mine's already disconnected. Next, you'll test your capacitors. Check out this video for a step-by-step -step guide. Remove the end belt and do a visual inspection of the motor windings. You're looking for burns, melting, or breaks in the motor windings. If you do see burns, your motor's likely been overloaded and will need to be repaired or replaced. Next, we'll check the resistance of your motor windings to make sure the start and run are not shorted together and they are not grounded. Make sure your multimeter is set to measure in ohms and place the meter across the isolated winding leads. If your insulation is good, your multimeter will read OL, which means open loop. If the windings are shorted, the multimeter will read zero. With a shorted winding, you'll need either a new motor or you'll need to get the motor rewound. But it's less common to get single phase motors rewound because of the higher labor charges for motor repair jobs. If your motor winding isn't broken, there could be a short circuit where the insulation failed. You may see this during the visual inspection, but it can be difficult to spot. Use your multimeter to see if there's any continuity or low resistance between any of the motor leads to the terminal and the housing or chassis. Repeat with all the leads. There should be high resistance between all the leads and the motor chassis. If any of these tests indicate a low resistance, your insulation may be damaged. If your resistance is low but not zero, you could also test with a megometer to get a more accurate reading. Instead of a true short circuit, you may be dealing with a direct short, insulation breakdown or dielectric breakdown. The megometer applies a high voltage, so you should be cautious when using this device. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you troubleshoot your single phase motor. Have any questions? Leave me a comment below or reach us at emotorsdirect.ca. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.